Jamie, they cut us head off. They cut the glass head off, and it was all over the place. <laughs> murderers for you to listen to. Here, Saul was a wonderful New Testament murderer. Anybody have any questions about uh, Paul? Well, was Paul a Jew? Was Paul a Jew? Are you serious right now? Are you asking me this question? There are some who think so, but they are wrong. Okay. Here, watch this video. Come gather around, children, listen to me. Of a man about whom no one seems to agree. So understand, children, that as we proceed, we do so with very little certainty. All that we know for certain is that all in Corinth from 50 to 51 when A.D. He studied as a child under Rabbi Gamaliel. That's how he came to know the Torah really well. Grew into a mighty Pharisee. Executed the church from 31 to 33. One day on the road to Damascus, he saw the risen Christ. For three days was blind, was losing his mind, but then he regained his sight. God turned him from Judaism and changed his name to Paul. Just kidding. Still a Jew, and his name was still Saul. You see, Paul is the Greek, and Saul is Hebrew. And you can totally follow Christ and still be a Jew. Although we're not sure, we sure still can guess at when events happened and fill in the rest. But all that we know for certain is that Paul was in. The same fervor he used to drive the church into the ground. Named apostle to the Gentiles by Jesus himself. Studied all the freaking new books on his shelf. Then Paul and his good friend named Barnabas set out on a missionary quest to plant churches and preach the gospel they teach. Cities that lay to the west All went on three missionary journeys over the years Each time he went farther and farther by years He started many churches in cities galore Then wrote letters to encourage them some more In Rome and the West in 60 AD, but we don't know the rest. Possibly Nero with his iron fist set Paul ablaze and burned him to a crisp. Ew. But all that we know for certain is that Paul was in Corinth. Yes, Paul was in Corinth. All that we know for certain is that Paul was in Corinth.
anyone have any questions about the video? Yes? I, I heard that before the 1970s, everybody thought that Paul hated Jews and preached anti-Semitism, but then someone realized that he never really gave up Judaism, which is shown in all of his letters. Where did you hear this from? Um, a, 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 a writer, um... Well, he's wrong! Didn't you watch the video? Idiot. Anyone have any good questions? Hey, what with Paul and Jim? What, what I already answered your question. Mm -hmm. Yes? Hi hypothetically speaking, hypothetically. if Paul were a Jew, what would covenant have meant to him? Good question. Covenant was a Jewish term. God made covenant with Abraham in Genesis and continued covenant with the Israelites. This brought them together as a church. Since Paul was not a Jew and did not teach covenantalism, he taught ecclesiology. Ecclesiology is a Greek term, the Greek term for church. Ecclesia. Greek concept. The Romans used this to unify the people. Unifications of all people in the society. Pauline ecclesiology was a synthesis of covenantal ideas with messianic principles it borrowed the concept of unity in the covenantal relationship and placed it within the context of the church. Paul expressed covenantal ideas within the new body of people, those who were in Christ. This brings me to my next point. Did you like this beautiful hexagram I made up? Thank you. This brings me to my next point. My hexagram. In consideration of Paul, view of eschatology and his resurrection, we see quite clearly Paul was not a Jew. Okay. Eschatology and resurrection. Straight down the line. Former view it was the Jewish view, the former, that it was the end of the world that came first, and then the resurrection. Messiah comes and then he defeats the Jewish enemies, the Jews' enemies, that is. All of the dead Jews in Sheol are resurrected in the end because they were waiting on God to act, and they didn't have anything to do apart from keeping the law. The Christian view which is next. Eschatology began with Christ's resurrection. Fulfillment of Judaism in Christ. Christ is the beginning and the end. Resurrection of God's people is in Jesus and is with Jesus. We have been resurrected with Jesus Christ. Eschatology is now here. Not just a moment in history, but the beginning of a new time and the beginning of a new covenant. It happened in the past, but has future implications. We are not waiting for God to act. You shut up! We are not waiting for God to act, but God is acting and has acted. We respond. What is your stinking question, son? What call it, Jim? Does anyone have any other questions? Yes? Is Paul righteous? Was Paul righteous? Yeah. He was so righteous that Jesus Christ justified him. This word is called de... 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 It means the same thing. It's basically righteousness and justification means the same thing. That's what it, it is. Okay? It's the same thing. Equals the same thing. Righteousness and justification. Righteousness is a state of being in the right relationship with God. It's all my thing here. See, righteousness, justification, because... 
only way to have a kind of relationship with God. Maintained by keeping the law of the covenant. Letter of the law equals pleasing God. Letter of the law pleasing God. Justification is putting someone into a state of being of righteousness. We cannot keep the whole law all the time. Law cannot save us. That's Romans 8. I like Romans because it was made by Paul. We were all justified through Jesus when he died for our sin. Everyone may not have a relationship with Jesus Christ now. Everyone may not have a Jesus Christ relationship. You may all Jesus relationship with each other. Thank you very much. Everyone is righteous and holy because of Jesus Christ. And only because of Jesus Christ as his sins have been forgiven. And righteousness made through faith in Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. This is a, a children's time with... Aaron, I thank you very much. And Jesus Christ has been born righteous and holy. Pleasing be to you. Thank you. La, 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 la,